Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katrina and this is... Today I want to do another one of Jim's books, reading, and stuff's alphabet tags. This one being the letter C. So the first one is for countries, Cuba, Colombia, Chile, Congo, Cyprus, Chechnya, China, and Canada. What was the last book you read by an author from Canada or China or another country beginning with C? And I have not read any books from any of those places that I can think of. I did do a quick search. I was for sure that I had read a bunch of books from Canadians, but the behind American authors I have read the most books from England and then Australia and then a few African uh, books and that's it so I need to be more wide read, wide read number two is for canine and cat show me yours so here's a picture of my little missy uh, her full name is Mississippi May because we got her in Mississippi Number three is the last classic that you've read. I can't, because they're both rereads and I didn't manually put in my updated um, read on Goodreads, it didn't tell me. So it's either going to be The Bluest Eye or Jane Eyre. And I'm pretty sure Jane Eyre was the last one because I think I did Bluest Eye earlier because it was the first of my Toni Morrison books that I wanted to do. So I'm pretty sure it was The Bluest Eye. It was um, Jane Eyre. Or it could be Sula. So there's three choices. Sula, Jane Eyre, or The Bluest Eye. C is for children's books. What was the last children's book you read for your own enjoyment? And that would be Root Magic by Eden Royce. Um, this is a middle grade book about some 12 year old twins who were kind of caught between they're, first of all, they're tweens, so they're dealing with all of the change of that. Uh, for the first time, they're going to be split up in classes. Um, up until this, up until this year, they have all you know they're twins. They've been in the same grade, but the little girl, um, Jezebel, um, she skips a grade, and uh, so she's lonely with you know being in class with the little kids. There's a bully, and uh, she also was kind of pulled between the church people and traditional root magic la geechee people in uh, south carolina and her grandmother was teaching her uh root magic um, her mother is not against it but she's more traditional when it comes to church and they're also being bullied by police officers because they see magic as a threat so it was a very spooky kid book. I am really finding this year that I am loving middle grade spooky books. Spooky middle grade books. Just I'm here for it. I'm enjoying them and every one that I love I'm kind of picking them up and adding them to my um, kids library with the hopes that they will pick them up and read them. Um, and if not I'm gonna make them read them through the summer so they read them anyway. Next question is C is for coloring book. Adult coloring books are a thing. Have you tried one? And what are your thoughts on this? Yes, I've tried a few. I deal with depression and anxiety and things like that. So I've tried everything to try to calm myself and calm racing thoughts and things like that. And I enjoy them. I enjoy being artistic. They're just expensive. They're a lot more expensive than little kid coloring books. And my kids always take my, my uh, color pencils and that's it and I just haven't gone back and bought them. Um, reading and journaling, therapy, all of those work, you know, and do the same things that coloring does. Um, pl doing planners, uh, setting up uh, bullet journals and stuff, it's all the same kind of meditative, calming thing. Uh, and then sometimes I just zone out and watch a bunch of YouTube videos that's just as calming and meditative question is C is for comedy what is the funniest book you have read I would have to say actor age Eve Brown it's more witty than like laugh out loud funny there was many times that I was smiling there's many times that like and every time I've ended one of the Brown sisters books I've ended it with a smile on my face Talia Hibbert is a very um, quirky um, funny writer she she the 
the language, the the conversations are always quick and funny and um, they're, they're always kind of sarcastic and going back and forth and I, I love them. So that was the last book that was just like really bubbly and lighthearted in, in, in the sense of being funny. <laughs> C's for comic books. Can you explain to me the attraction of these? I don't read comic books but I would imagine that the colors and the pictures and the ease of the dialogue it's a nice entryway into literature for young people who might be intimidated by just a block of text they may think it's like a boy might think it's girly or whatever and once they get over that and start reading other books they just might continue on with the love of comic books that's the best that I can think of my my opinion I never discount any type of reading I I know, you know, like, especially when it comes to low literacy uh, groups of people or disabled people and things like that, low literacy, um, people who don't have access to like libraries or people who have higher rates of illiteracy or like little boys who might feel peer, pre peer pressure to not read as much as maybe it's okay for a little girl to read. And so in any way that you can get a book into someone's hands or ears or through their eyes, I'm for it. C is for cookbook. Do you have a favorite? I did have a favorite, but I've said this before, we had a really terrible move a couple years ago and we lost half of our books. And I used to have this Southern cookbook um, that had all these this, the author had collected all of these soul food recipes that had been passed down and it had beautiful pictures some of the recipes ha that had survived like on paper were photographed into the book um, there were pictures of like old cooks and um, and I, I thought those were, it was a really beautiful book along with history along with being a historical book. I can't even remember the name of it. I just can see it. I can see the sepia tones and everything like that and I'm just really upset that I lost that book. So that's the end of the C tag. Thanks to Jim's books, reading, and stuff for coming up with more content for us to put out. If you want to do the tag, I tag you. Get on to it. I'll put the questions like I said down into the comment box. Be easy on yourself and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.